Fatima Chami and I'm going to be walking, to, uh, walking through the process of creating a new Jasmine account. Jasmine account portal was developed here by CEDA to bring a clear separation between Jasmine services and CEDA archive services. It's dedicated to Jasmine users and it's, it's a web interface utility for users to manage access to Jasmine resources. And also it's offered a streamlined portal for external authorizer to grant and reject resources application. Now, to start the process of getting a new account, navigate to the uh, uh, Jasmine account portal homepage. This will take you to this page here and click apply for a new Jasmine account as shown here by the arrow. This will take you to this page. As, any, as you can see from the top of this page, the process is based on four steps. The first step is an application, email verification, approval, and then creation of the account. So start with fill, by filling or completing this form by, and uh, giving your email address. I have to mention that it has to be an institutional email address and select your discipline and your um, uh, institution. And if your institution is not on the list, you can add a new one by clicking the plus button. This will take you to this form where you can enter those details. And next, you have to fill the box with the, which says what, it, what is it going to be using for Jasmine form. So this is some uh, uh, information that will help us to approve your, your request. And then submit the, submit the application at the bottom of this form. This will, take you to the, this will take you to this page and uh, you will receive an email confirming that we received your application and then receive an email verification. So please, uh, you have to click on the link to approve the email and then move to the process of completing the last step, which is the creation of the account. So in here, you have to enter your uh, pick or choose a user and password and then you have to um, register your SSH key. At the moment, I'll show you next on how to get to, on how to set up your SSH key. So SSH stands for Secure Shell. It's a protocol that allows login to another computer over the network, and it's based on SSH public key authentication, which is a requirement by Jasmine. It's a secure, and it's it's uh, um, yeah, it's secure over the conventional or traditional way of user and password. The software requirement needed for this, you need to have an SSH client installed on your local machine that you're going to use to access Jasmine and a terminal. This would be, um, uh, this would be presented later. So, so the, how to set it up, you started, so that's you at the user end. You all have this requirement and you have to, your, to use your institutional network. You're creating those two keys, a private key and a public key. So open the terminal, type the following command, SSH keygen, as it shows here, and it's highlighted on a screenshot from a terminal perspective. This will generate two keys, an ID RSA Jasmine key shown with the double arrow at the end. Now, what you need to do with those keys, the public key, which is a file with the extension .pop, this is the part that you need to share in order to access uh, Jasmine. That, uh, I'll explain that next. And the private key, should be protected and not shared. The, uh, the, the, the picture at the bottom here just shows the, bar, uh, the public key which is shared by all Jasmine services and the private key stays with you and that will be um, uh, when you log in you will use it. Now I'll go back to the previous page at the creation of the account now you have the key you have to open your public file key and the text editor copy paste the contact in the box SSH public key and then create your account. This will take you to this page to agree to the terms and condition. So you have to just press the button, I agree, and then your, your Jasmine account portal is created. You can proceed now to login. Open logging into your Jasmine account. This will take you to your profile page, which shows all the information that you've entered in your uh, application. And also it shows you where your services are. You can also access this profile from here at the top and you can access your services from this button here or from this button here. You can see the Jasmine uh, services at, on, the, on the top of the page. Now this account has, has all the services. I'm going to move to a brand new account, which is a dummy user account here. We didn't have any services. So clicking on my services shows me that I don't have any services yet. Now to apply for services, just have to go to login services once you click on this on this uh, category, 
this will take you to this page. To, to the top, the page shows that the Trust Me login service, and it gives you all or two information, uh, two tabs here to click the more information and apply for access. You can apply from this page by clicking apply for access, or you can click on the more information to find out what are the servers or the resources that, that this login will um, give you access to. And then you can apply from there. After, after uh, open to this, you'll be taken to this box uh, uh, where you have to you give the impo uh, supporting information. It is important to, uh, to provide as much as information about your project, who you are working with, or what do you know further, or in activities with NERC, and then you apply. This information will be used for the, during the approval process. Once you submit your uh, request for the Jasmine login role, your request will be in a pending state as showing here and you receive an application that will receive your request. This goes through to be approved and after approval, you can, you can check your email or you can check your notification here which shows that it's been granted. And then your request you now, you have a grant and you have a state status as active within expiry dates. Now you have a Jasmine login rule, so we allow you access into Jasmine. Now this is a summary of all the services controlled by this uh, Jasmine login role, as well as uh, you will have access to a home directory and you'll have access to use the Jasmine Analysis platform software. Just a quick one, as you know, please pay attention to the purpose of every server be before going and uh, doing any processing. Um, and then next is almost near the end of my presentation here. This is a summary uh, of flowchart of starting from having a Jasmine account portal that will give you access to the login uh, role, that, then that login role control access to the different services on the left the side, the Lotus and the data transfer servers, other services on the right, like the group workspace and app, or group workspace and some data services that need to be applied for access. Now, this is more information for you to know um, um, that you might need to know in the future. If you are still new, I just advise you to read through this. And then uh, this is further information about the article that are very relevant to this section of the, of the, of the webinar and uh, uh, reference to the Jasmine paper. And um, thank you. I'll pass it over to Ak.